You said that you wanted to talk about something. What's wrong? You look really serious. Um... My name is Erica. I'm a super happy girl who's soon to be married to the guy I'm with right now, Bakara. I came here today because Bakara all of a sudden asked me to meet up with him, but for somehow seems to look nervous. Hey, Bakara, did just something happen? You know we're going to be together forever. So if something's bothering you, you can just tell me straight up. I promise I won't get mad at you. What? You promise you won't get mad? Yes, of course. I won't get mad, so just tell me. If you're not going to get mad, I'm going to say it. Break up with me. What? What? Did you just say you want to break up with me? You've got to be kidding me! Uh... People who promise they won't get mad will get mad, 100% pony! You, you're the one who proposed to me just a few days ago! What happened in this short period of time? I've already told my parents, my relatives, and my neighbors! What are you going to do about that? There's no way I'm going to be okay with this! Um, uh... <sighs> I can't believe this! You were the only emotional support I had! You see, my family runs a small business, and I'm also an employee there. But there's been a business partner suddenly cutting off transactions with us, and the meaning of the company and my mental health was hitting rock bottom. And the person who supported me during that time was Bakara. You know, I thought it was best for you to forget about me and focus on your company, so... What? But why all of a sudden? Um... What? Why are you crying? I'm the one who wants to cry over here. Hello, Rick's girlfriend. What? Who are you? What? You still haven't told her yet, Bakara? Um... Oh, I'm sorry. It's taking more time than I thought. Erica wouldn't let me go. What? Hurry the hell up! This is Rie. She's my girlfriend. What? Excuse me? Yeah, you don't get it? I fell in love with Rie. I got bored with you. What? This can't be happening! <laughs> it's happening, alright. You think you can win against me? I'm the president's daughter of the large company, Bariton Corporation. I'm super rich and I've got the look. I have everything you don't have. What? I am 100% way more beautiful than you are. Excuse me? Don't be a sore loser. I'm not. This is an objective fact. Anyways, I'm not a daughter of some sad, small company like you. And besides, I hear your company's not doing so well lately. What? How do you know that? That's none of your business. Come on, let's leave this bitch and get going, Bakara. Yeah, you're, you're right. See ya. Forget about Bakara. There is no way you can win against me. <sighs> Why is this happening to me? And so things happened, and I lost Bakara, my emotional support. I told my parents right away that I broke up with Bakara. My parents who were fond of Bakara were really sad to hear the news. And so, I'm not getting married. I'm sorry. Um... Well, don't look so sad. Our company doesn't have the room to be sad about breaking off an engagement right now. I'll make more efforts at work, driving by regret. Don't be too hard on yourself. What are you saying? Oh. Yes, thank you for the call. Yes, yes. What? Really? The thank you so much. Yes, yes. You're looking forward to working with you again, too. What's going on? I don't know. Mom, Erica, our business partner decided to renew contract with us again. It looks like we don't have to go bankrupt after all. 
What? That's great news! After that, we had calls coming in from other business partners too, wanting to renew contract with us again. And we were able to turn our company around. I really care about the company. I'm truly happy it doesn't have to go bankrupt. But something doesn't seem to add up right. I was wondering what was going on when... Hello? What the... Why are you here? Rie, who stole the Bakara from me, came down to her company. Just as I had imagined. Such a sad, small company. It's far from our large company. It's hilarious. Don't make fun of my family's company. Oh, no, no, no. You better watch how you talk to me. The reason your company is still alive is because of me. What? What do you mean? What do I mean? Well, that's obvious. At any rate, I'm glad I get to see your lame ass. What part of me exactly is lame? Everything? How you're holding on to this small pathetic company? And how you were dumped by Bakara? Excuse me? <laughs> I'm busy, so I'll be going home now. See ya. I'll probably never see her again in my life. Ria left the place right away after she spoke what was on her mind. We didn't have to go bankrupt because of Ria? What's going on? At the moment, I had no idea what was going on behind my back. And so, the next day, after that incident, I went to my friend Karin to tell her that we broke off our engagement. Our family runs a larger company than that of Ria's family's Bariton Corporation. She is the daughter of Soprano Corporation's CEO. She is crazy rich. Though their company is differing sizes, it looks like we're having the CEO Daughters Festival, Pony. And so, that's what happened. But, that can't be. I mean, Bakuda loved you crazy. There's no way. No, it's real. Bakura found someone else. What? You see how new girlfriend is? Rie, the CEO's daughter of Baritone Corporation. She's the one who took Bakura away. Rie? But you know what? It's not all bad. Our company was going through a hard time recently with our business partners cutting off transactions. But after I broke up with Bakura, all of a the sudden, those companies called in wanting to renew the contract again. And because of that, we were able to turn our company around. You know, it's weird how the company's contract moved in such a good timing and in such a short period of time. What? I feel like that girl Rie was up to something. Hey, Erika, could you let me handle this case? What do you mean, handle? I'm just going to do a little digging. Yeah, okay. Karen's little digging means it's going to be crazy. In a financial sense kind of way. My journalistic spirit is tingling. Please keep your journalistic spirit at low key. Don't do anything illegal. <laughs> I was too scared to ask if she had done something illegal or not. But that night, Karin gave me a call right away to tell me about the results of her digging. So that's the result of my investigation. What? That can't be. Oh my god. The result was something I wasn't expecting at all. La 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 la. It's finally my wedding day tomorrow. Bakura is finally going to be mine. 100%. And his ex, who was in the way, is being quiet too. My life is so on easy mode. I always get whatever I want. Hmm, what day is it today? Oh, wait a minute. Oh? Haha, <laughs> silly me. Today is my wedding day. I got the dates mixed up and I'm running late. Well, if I use my magical hands, running late is no problem. Let's see, I'll call Bakara first. Oh, hey, Bakara? Yeah, Rie, what's up? I'm 
sorry. I'm in the bath right now. So I'm not going to make it on time for the wedding. What? How to pay whatever money it takes. So please reschedule our wedding. <laughs> what? What are you laughing? What do you mean, what? You still haven't realized? What are you talking about? Yeah, today is my wedding, but you're not the bride. Excuse me? Are you talking crazy? We've been preparing for our wedding all this time. It was your mistake for letting me handle the whole thing. I didn't proceed with the preparation at all. What? There's no way! The one I'm marrying is Erica. What? Erica? You mean your ex? Why? She's not my ex. She's my fiancé. But... Excuse me! Wow! Erica, you look beautiful! Oh, you came just in time, Karin! I just got a phone call from Ria right now, so I could leave it to you to do the explaining. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hello there. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm Karin from Soprano Corporation. What? The so Soprano Corporation? You're the girl from Baritone Corporation, whose company is smaller than us. <laughs> what do you want from me? I did some digging on you. And you seem to have done a lot of things to steal back from Erica. I don't know what you're talking about. You better not play dumb. You pressured Erica's company's business partners to end contract with them. That's... You probably use that as a bait and said that if you want to save Erica's company, you should go out with yourself. What you did was so dirty that I decided to go all out on you. I let you run for a few months and even let you dream about marriage. But I fixed the contracts once I was able to get Bagara. What's the problem? I was able to get what I wanted and the ex got her life back. I helped her out when I could have just abandoned her after her company had the contracts broken off. She should actually be grateful. You got to be kidding me. Do you ever consider other people's feelings? I hate people like you. They try to get everything they want by money. There's nothing more ugly than a rich person who doesn't know how to spend her money. Ugh. But Bakara loved Erica from the bottom of his heart. And the only way I could make him mine was by using the power of money. I was lying in the middle of the street and drunk when Bakara came to save me. And I fell in love with him at first sight. I told him a million times I liked him, but he said no because he had a girlfriend. That's why I did what I had to do. And I was right. With the money, I was able to make Bakara mine for a short period of time. Does that make you sad? You did all of that, but in the end, you weren't able to make him fall in love with you. I mean, he came back to me, didn't he? I'm never going to forgive you, Rie. You knew how much Erica cared about her company. and decided to poke on that. This few months of pretending to be your boyfriend, I was so angry that I felt sick to my stomach. That's a lie. I know you love me. Bakara, when you first told me you wanted to leave me, I was trembling with anger, but I didn't know you were holding this feeling inside. I'm sorry I wasn't able to notice. I'm never going to forgive you. Right when I was about to give her a piece of my mind. You gotta be kidding me. You think I love you? Shut the hell up. You're disgusting. Did you say I'm disgusting? Oh, don't. Please. I'll give you all my money. I want you. Please come back. I'll buy you anything you want, so come back! Um... Come on, what do you want? Just to say the word? Or do you want to become the successor of our company? Don't worry, I'll make sure to tell daddy. The only thing I want is you, Bakara. So please! Though Bakara showed Rhea with harsh words, she doesn't seem to back down at all. It reached the level where it was now frightening. Hmm, Bakara, I think she might be a little crazy. I don't think it's a good idea to upset her anymore then. Um... Don't be involved with Erica or myself for the rest of your life. 
I'm tired of your presence. Let me make this clear. No matter how much money in the world you give me, I'll never marry you. Because I only love Erica. Bakara. <sighs> I'm sorry, I think I angered her. Do you think she'll go mad? I'm glad you said all those things for me, but yeah, she might go mad. Uh, oh no, what are we going to do? About that? You can leave that to me, don't worry. What? What are you going to do? She might attack Erica's company again. Oh my god, who do you think I am? I'm a rich, no, super rich girl who knows how to use her money, right? Karin, thank you. Protect your company, please. You're a true friend. Leave it to me. Karin Sama. After that, Karin really helped us out. She used the Soprano Corporation's power to accuse Rhea's wrongdoings to her company. And Rhea was banished from the company right after. And we were finally able to enjoy our marriage life in peace. Hmm, Bakara? Hmm? You're the only one I love, too. <laughs> I hope I can continue to love every day while taking care of the people I care about. <laughs>